Nate. Hey, Nate. There it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I don't know, no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. <sighs> and here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? We start by finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking the window. I'm pretty sure the front door will be locked. <laughs> See? What I tell you. Mm, it was worth a try. Let's look around back, huh? Hey, Nathan, look. It's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. Okay, give me your hand. All right, there you go. Come on. Come on, Nathan. Whoa. Spooky. Oh, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Here.
Nope. It's not gonna be in this attic. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Huh. Yeah, that'll do. Down we go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah. It's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is, right? Right. Uh, oh, budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam. This is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> Organ jars. <laughs> cool. Hmm. And you recognize that one? Uh. I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Husband and wife. They're buried together. It's kind of dark. And like in an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer-dryer combo. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Man, what I wouldn't give to get an invite like this. I just read this one. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well. Here we go. India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. 
Let's go to Moscow. Hey, I might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. And it wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Okay, one last spin. Brazil. Hey, now you're talking. All kinds of undiscovered places in the rainforest. And all kinds of undiscovered tribes with poison darts. Yeah, that too. Hey, check it out. Hot in there. <sighs> Fertility totems. Aren't you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <laughs> Must be something, right? Wow. This table is as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. Yeah, I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Oh, wow. They knew Amelia Earhart? No kidding. Man, they knew all the cool people. Here's another one. No, it's not one of mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Samurai. Hey, you recognize the crest? Uh, hollyhock leaves are, um... Let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. <sighs> it's hot in there. Liven up the place. <laughs> Since when do you like classical music? Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. <sighs> okay. I don't think mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh, let's check upstairs. Some stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. <sighs> hmm, it's locked.
Hey, the air vent. Up there. Going it alone. Oh, yeah. That could get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can't I handle it. All right. Let's see what you got, then. Check this out. Are right, you ready? Oh, oops. It's a Polaroid. Let me see. I think it still works. Come here. A smile, all right? <laughs> Don't lose it. Don't fall. I'll see you on the other side. Okay. It's a good thing I'm not claustrophobic. I'm in. Can you get the door open? <sighs> it's locked from this side, too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? <sighs> Coding. Lots of painkillers. Got it.
So? Anything? <sighs> Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Got something? <laughs> this is it. For that. What is he holding? Hey, 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 you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now, we wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady. It was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. Hm. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh. <gasps> hi? My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah. You're still nice, so, uh, do you mind? You knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So... Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. 
But then her illness... I'm sorry. It's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Here. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. Are you okay? Holy shit. Hey. 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 Sam? Ma'am? Oh, Khalid. Cool. You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. Front gate looks clear. Front gate. Got it. Go slow. Okay. God damn it! Come on! 
Go, go, go! Ugh, gotcha! Run like hell, Nathan! You're only making this worse for yourself! Come on! Go! Come back up! I did already! One more warning! Down on the ground! Hands on your head! Gotcha! Oh, shit. I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was, um... Sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Oh, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan? Back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this... Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives. With brand new identities. What are you talking about? I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? <laughs>